Hi, I'm Dai, and today I will show you how to get the most out of Lens Desktop by exploring the workload panel. Let's dive in. After connecting your cluster, just click on Cluster and then click on Workloads and Workloads Overview. Workloads is where the magic happens. I'm going to show you how. So here is where you go for real-time visualization and to also understand how your objects in your clusters are working and performing, such as pods, deployments, demo sets, stateful sets, replicas, and others. I can go ahead and click on my pod to check, to check the details such as CPU, memory, network, and others. You can see also name, labels, status, and pretty much any information that you need to see about your pods. And of course, I can also go here and check my logs. And from here, I can download this log, I can show timestamps, I can show previous terminator container, pretty much like you can do anything when it comes to troubleshooting. So you can troubleshoot fast, effectively, and all without writing any kubectl. And just to remind you that you can have the same information for your deployments right here as well. But now let's go to config maps right here. And then you can take a look on namespace, secrets. You can check your uh, auto scalers here, horizontal and vertical, and a lot more information from this view. And this one is definitely my favorite because you can also come here, use a terminal to perform any kubectl commands directly from the lens interface. And as you can see, you can easily operate your clusters without switching context or tools. And these are just a few of the features that makes Lens Desktop a favorite among engineers. So explore the workload panel and see how it can enhance your Kubernetes experience today. Thanks for watching and happy cluster with Lens.